Hi, this is Marek, and today we shall see how to use Redis on OpenShift. First, it is good to know what the Redis actually is. Redis is a NoSQL data store that you can use for saving keys and values, but you can also store much more complex structures like hashes, sets, or lists. Let's start. I am using Mac, so I will install Redis first. I will use Homebrew for installing the server, and it's, it is as simple as uh, typing this one command. Homebrew will download the source code, will compile it for me, and will install the, the, the binaries into the path. So, Redis is installed, I will just use the command line tool. Redis can be used as a caching solution. In this way, you are saving some value that is uh, referenced by a key, and then you are retrieving this one uh, particular key. You have some kind of evictions that you that the values are deleted after some time where there is no space and, and Redis can handle all this stuff. In my my example, I will just save the uh, save the value, then we will get the value and we will delete it. So let's start by starting the Redis command line tools. We are not connected and I will start the Redis server. So I have a server uh, server running. I will create a new tab and I will work from here. We have the server running in the first tab and we will be using uh, this tab. So let's start Redis client, client and we see that we, we are already connected. So let's save a value for some keys. So set will save a value. We give it a name. I will use OpenShift and we will use some value which will be awesome because OpenShift is awesome. We have saved the value. To get the value, you use the get command and you get the value. And if you want to delete it, then you just delete it. Now if you try to get it, there is no value. So this is one of the most simplest use cases you can use Redis for. As a caching solution or some key value store, and Redis is used very much. The second thing that Redis is used quite a lot for is event distribution. So I have two separate processes and I need to trigger some uh, action on, these, on the other one. Where you can see it is, uh, for example, in web applications, when you have a long running task uh, that, uh, that needs to be triggered on the background and user will be notified later that uh, it happened, then you can use Redis for. If you, if you are a Ruby guy, you probably know Sidekick, which is a worker worker manager for uh, for Rails and other Ruby frameworks and it actually uses Redis on the background. So what we will use for this is the command blpop which is doing a simple thing. The, the B stands for block, the L stands from left and pop means take out of the list. So this command will wait until there is a value on the left side of the of the list when the value will be there, it will take it and it will be printed on the screen. So, we also need to specify the name of the list that will be, Redis be storing the values in. I will once again use OpenShift because that uh, name is not taken because we deleted the, the value before. I need also specify zero, that's the timeout for Redis to block and uh, to wait for the, for the value. So, I will open one new tab. Uh, we will run once again Redis client and we use our push which would push a, a value into the list on the right side but because we have nothing the, in the list it doesn't matter if we push from left which would be L push or from right which is R push. The name of the list is OpenShift. The value will be awesome. We pushed it there and you can see on the left that uh, in the tab something happened and you can see that in the list OpenShift the value awesome was uh, was pushed. I can use this I can do the same from from the other side so if I in this I will use BRPOP uh, once again OpenShift and once again zero I can R push OpenShift Awesome. So I have pushed from this from this tab, and it have appeared in this other one. So this way you can facilitate asynchronous communication among several distributed uh, workers or processes or whatever, 
and this is one use case Redis is often used for. So now we know something about Redis. Before we move to deploying Redis to OpenShift, let's just see how we would deploy a native OpenShift cartridge. And after that, we shall move to the community contributed cartridges. So we would use RHC app create. We would specify a name of the application, and we would use. Uh, we need to specify the the cartridge of the language that the application will be using. So, for example, PHP. Uh, 5.3 and now we would specify the cartridge of the service that we want to deploy. So for example PostgreSQL-9.2. So this way we would deploy uh, application with PHP and Postgres and it will be it would be called Redis, right? So let's now deploy not the PostgreSQL but let's deploy Redis. So the command cartridges are distributed using GitHub. It is just a simple Git repository that somebody provides on GitHub or somewhere else and you can use it. For OpenShift the only significant thing is the HTTP URL which can be used to download the cartridge from. The, this URL you can see here on the screen that actually links to the cartridge. So we will copy the, the link and we shall put it in here. So now we telling the, the command line tools that we want to create a new application that is called Redis. It has PHP and it has the Redis cartridge for OpenShift taken from that URL. You may need to put the quotes around the, the URL. So now the, the command line tools will communicate with OpenShift and will deploy the new application for me. So this will take some time. So we will be back soon. We have the application deployed and we have also Redis deployed in the application. Let's now uh, go to the application itself, SSH to the gear, and let's see what happened inside. OpenShift is using environment variables for a lot of things and you can also see that Redis has provided us with quite a lot of information. This information can be used to connect to Redis. We should have Redis client line tools also available in the gear and you can see the last line which provides us with the information how to connect to Redis. So and you can see that we are connected to Redis. Let's try just once again the, the, the same thing we have been doing before. So set open shift awesome get open shift delete open shift so you can see that we we are actually using redis inside the gear in open shift in the cloud everything is working in the environment variables you can see that there is a password that is used to secure redis instance so some other else cannot hack and that is all you can now use Redis on OpenShift and you can use the community contributed cartridge for that. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon.